Hi, my name is Christoph Schwarz. I would like quickly to show the uh, Get Geo Coordinates application and how to work with it. So, when you do, you have got uh, instructions on page one, by the way. So, uh, read through it, you will get a bit more details than in this instruction video. So, first, you need to find your way into the um, data editor. There are a couple of uh, connections which you must keep. It's the REST connector connection here, it's the encode uh, query string connection, and it's the address resolve cache. You, you have to keep this. And uh, please adjust address resolve cache to point to a place where you can temporarily cache or where you can keep all the uh, previously sent um, addresses. So you will find strange files with a txt extension here which uh, represent previous results so you don't need to wait for uh, the Yahoo API again for repeating queries. So once you adjust this um, you just go to the address sample page, address table sample, you uh, create a copy of it, introduce any new um, uh, page if you like, something like this, then you unselect this one, put your load statement in the middle. Let's assume I haven't done this before, so I really get this away and see this, you can see this from scratch. Keep it in sequence, so you must keep it below the sample page. And um, here you can just choose a standard way to connect to your data, for example, by uh, using a data connection here and selecting your data. There is test data in here and I want to load the entire table. So it has a couple of fields which uh, contain um, which contain the um, address First of all, it's a city. Uh, it's an address called Strasse, which means street. Um, this is how I would compute the query string because I need to send a combination of street, city, which is this field ORT, and country, which is in the field LAND. So this will be the query string sent. I want only one line back per result. And um, here is an option to save the result. If you don't, it's just loaded here in this app and you won't be able to use it in, in different apps. So by copy pasting this and giving it a new name like Geo um, and choosing an output format, for example TXT, you that's all you need to do to get a, um, a data table after this. So let's see, we're loading the data now and um, yeah, I have to replace case with a sequence number. So if this is your first table, put case 1 here. If it's a second table, um, you just copy this uh, section, name it case 2. Okay, and of course this needs to be replaced. So hope I've fixed all the script errors now. And now it's uh, getting responses from Yahoo as well as from, because I run this before, as well as partly from the cache folder. So it gets about one address per second. It's not the fastest one, but it's uh, completely integrated into ClickSense. So while this is loading, we can see in the cache folder that there are a couple of uh, files added. And now it's done. Let's see what we have received. First of all, let's see in the app overview, you can visualize the data on a point map. So you can see that the table, if you load multiple tables, each one will pull a distinctive color and you can see the dots here all around. So you can check, for example, some of the addresses, where they are uh, and what the result was. And by the way, you will notice uh, Google 
uh, the Google Address API adds a lot of useful fields. For example, um, even if you had no state or county field, it can add it. So um, it gets, for example, um, the district, the county and the city name, even if you had just a, an address. And it also provides a quality. How sure is it is the API with the result? So if it's a perfect match, the address exists, it's a higher score than a lower quality, which um, in this case, some location strings which are not existing, as this is sample data from Northwind database. You can also see that some of the lines have created, um, would create multiple results. However, we said we only want to associate one result. So it's taking one arbitrary result, the one with the highest quality, by the way. But you can see that um, this address, Askargatan in Breke, Sweden, uh, has 14 different options. And if you want to get all those, uh, then it, there is one of the, um, then there's one of the um, uh, settings in the editor where um, I set it to 1 and you could or should choose this to 0. So this means it will load all the results for this uh, table. Next time it will go really fast because it pulls everything out of the cache and these are all different addresses that could be Brecke, Askargatan, whatever. So that's the difference and I demoed now very easily why to use this. So if you're happy with that. The uh, last thing to look at is now um, I've also received an export file. It is in this case a text file with um, uh, tab separated and it reads the original data table and adds all the, the data fields um, that I receive back from um, from the API and also some fields that I count and create in the app. So here are your original fields, Kunden code, whatever. Um, this are, was the original QVD contents, but location, query, string, geo point, those are the fields you want to get back together with everything that the U Yahoo API responded with all useful information that you can or uh, load or ignore in the app you like to use. You can drive this format very simply by choosing a different export format. If I choose this just by naming this here, a QVD, it's smart enough to to determine the output format is now a QVD and you get it um, in, of course, a different, a different format. That's all and I'm pretty sure you can find your own use cases of this nice little uh, tool.